Hi guys, I'm Gavin Mittal. Uh, now I'm here to talk about how to build some phenomenal great mobile first products. Um, I had strategy and new product development in BSB. For those of you who don't know BSB, uh, BSB is a Bharti software joint venture. Uh, a little startup itself that's funded by Bharti Software that's building some really cool, interesting uh, mobile first products for the Indian market. So, building great mobile first products. Before I start now, by a show of hands, can I just ask how many people in the audience have a smartphone over here? And out of you guys, how many people use more than, say, 10 apps? How about more than 50? 100? A few you guys. Okay, great. So, in the last six months to a year, we've done a lot of research as to you know, how people sort of use their devices. And it seems like, um, on average, a smartphone user uses five to seven services on a daily basis. Now, uh, you know, my sort of top five are Instagram for sharing path for my intimate social network, Facebook, Twitter, and of course, Hike, something we're building, and I'll talk about a bit later. Uh, but there are hundreds of apps competing to be one of these five, seven odd services. It's a, it's a nightmare. So, you know, how does one stand out? Uh, and we really believe that a user experience, a great UX, can make a big, big difference. You know, in a mobile-first world, design flaws are much more easily exposed because of the limited real estate you have. So great UX would be a massive, uh, a huge competitive advantage in this day and age. Now, what does it take to build a phenomenal, a great UX? Uh, we believe there are six key points to keep in mind. The first one is, first impressions are very, very important. Very, very important. Um, you know, Products are always judged by the signals they can bring. No matter how fast or how flashy a product is, if it's not packaged in the right way, uh, you lose that first impression of whoa that you sort of give to the user. Uh, in other words, people do judge a book by its cover. It's true. And the like I said, the quality of your product will not matter if you present it in a very slick shot. Um, I would love to take an example of Hike, something we're building at, at BSP, Fun Free Messing for Life. Uh, it's, a, it's a messaging application. The biggest difference between Hike and other apps is that you can also message friends who are not on Hike. Um, if I have Hike and say you have Hike, I can message you for free. But if I have Hike and say you don't have Hike, you can still message your friends for free. And you can reply back to it and the, and the message comes right in the inbox making messaging very, very seamless. Now, the one thing we did with Hike was how do we build a phenomenal emotional experience? Right from the icon on the home screen um, to the starting page of the app itself. It is a very clean, subtle, very beautiful interface. This is very, very important. We really feel that first impressions make a massive, massive difference. Number two, focus, focus, and focus. A lot of apps you see nowadays play um, a features game. They keep adding features in their applications. We think that's the wrong way to go. It is very important to figure out what your atomic unit one thing that is the most valuable action in the application, the one thing that your app is meant to do, uh, the one most desired action in the app. Now, for the services like Twitter, Instagram, Foursquare, and Dropbox, it's a tweet. Uh, it's a photo. Uh, the, that, the reason why, why Instagram got bought you know, for a billion dollars is because there are 100 million people sharing photos every day. For Foursquare, it's a check-in, and for a service like Dropbox, it's a file. You know, you have to focus on simplifying and optimizing this action. It is so important. Uh, think of it as helping a user traverse between two points. How do you get the user from, you know, point A to point B very easily and very fast? The easier it is for, for a user to get to, from point A to point, point B, the more satisfied the user will be and the more activity you have in the application. The atomic unit is by far the most valuable action in the application. Very, very in Hike, um, our atomic unit is sending a personal message. And if you notice, right in the home screen itself, there's only one button you can push, which is the new message at the bottom of the screen. It's placed at the bottom because when you hold a device with your left hand, it's very easy to tap. There's only one button to uh, perform an action in, in this application. So focus and simplify and optimize this atomic unit you have in your application. Less is more. Um, we truly are big, big believers in the fact that less is more than more first uh, We have this phenomenal quote on our wall in, in our office that says, by Jack Dorsey, who is the founder of and creator of Twitter and Square, <coughs> 
make every detail perfect and limit the number of details to perfect. It's a phenomenal tool. And Twitter really, truly really reflects this itself. Most companies play a features race. They think that you know, more features mean more users. If I had 10 different features, I'll get you know, hundreds of millions of users. Now, that might be true for downloads. Um, but if you're trying to be one of those five to seven services that are uh, going to be used by a person every day, uh, that is not true. It is just not true. Extra features dilute the experience. They distract from what the problem you're trying to solve. Um, extra features, like I said, might lead to more downloads, but they distract from the actual active user experience of the application. Uh, this is what most people end up doing. You know, you're trying to get a user from point A to point B, but there's this massive hump in the middle where you give them five different options because you don't know what's best for the user. We really feel that if you're trying to solve a problem for a user, you have to figure out the best way possible for the user to get from point A to point B. Um, never give options. Uh, we have this saying in, 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 at BSP and at Hike that fail often, fail fast, fail cheap. It's better to take one of these roads, try it out as fast as possible, fail as fast as possible, know it doesn't work, and then move on to path number B or C. Very, very important. Mobile devices have very, very limited real estate, especially in a country like India, where the Android devices that people are shipping are having very small screens. Um, apps are meant to do one thing at a time. Uh, that's the purpose of an application. If you look at how uh, the native apps are built on Android, iPhone, Windows 7, um, the phone app does only calling, the messaging app does only messaging, and so on and so forth. Um, get out of the way of the user and help knock off all the obstacles in the way from point, point B to point A. Just get out of the way. Let the user do what he needs to be doing. This is what it should look like on the iPhone. It's very subtle, very simple. This is, this is a very, very important point. Very important point. You know, we, we launched Hike in Beta um, about a month and a half ago. And we're, we've seen some massive traction. We're seeing our, our messaging traffic grow about 30% a week. It's phenomenal. And what we realized is that emotions drive actions. Emotions drive actions, and logic then further reasons these actions. It's very, very important to understand this, and it's very important that you build an internet, in, intimate connection with consumer stories. One of the best companies in the world that does this really well is Apple. Uh, if you look at the iPhone, if you look at the latest app from Samsung and iPhone comparing both those phones, Samsung has a lot more features than Apple. But Apple has managed to build a phenomenal intimate connection with the consumers, and that's why people still strive for the iPhone. That's why the consumer satisfaction of an iPhone is much higher. And the smaller details matter. Um, color of the brand, uh, manner of the text used, the way you speak to the using the application, it matters a lot. Um, the design of an app really defines its personality. In Hike, we have these really cool cute emoticons that people are raving about. And this is one small example of how we use emotions to drive a lot of actions in the application. Uh, emotions sit on the layer on top of the atomic unit, which is messaging is there, but how do you make it more fun and emotional? Number five, make it playful. Um, if people are using five to seven services every day, uh, they want to have fun using the services. So make it playful. Most apps are absolutely boring. Um, they're not designed well, they don't function well, but they're actually just, they don't have personality. They're absolutely boring. And how do you sort of add a layer of funness to your application? In Hike, we've done this with a really cool SMS meetup. Um, for Hike to SMS, we allow you to sort of you know, send message, messages uh, off from Hike. And we have this really fun meter that we give to you that you can play with. And you can toggle this sort of dial. It doesn't mean much, but we began seeing some phenomenal response from the consumer saying, hey, listen, I don't care about this, but it's a lot of fun. It looks really cool. So adding a layer of fun also becomes very vital if you want to be one of those five or seven services. Uh, and finally, speed over perfection any day. What that means is that you know, consumers don't give for a high quality app. That is very, very slow. No matter how good your app looks, no matter how um, good the code is and how fast you actually think it works, perception is reality. If it doesn't feel like it's working fast, if it doesn't feel like it's good, it's not going to be good. Time spent on mobile is very, very limited. Uh, users want to get in and out as fast as possible. We've gone away from having half an hour to spend on a PC. We will browse Facebook and do a lot of other stuff to a mobile device where you have five, ten minutes here now. We want to just jump in and jump out. 
Performance always comes first. Um, some of the apps that embody these six sort of principles of design or, or building an emotional, fun piece of experience are Twitter, uh, Instagram, and Flipboard. Flipboard's done a phenomenal job of really revolutionizing how you view uh, news articles uh, on a mobile device. And for them, the atomic unit is an article, and they do a phenomenal job of getting you from point A to point B, leaving the article in a very simple, easy path. Um, Hike is another example of this. We're launching Hike next month on Windows 7, iPhone, and so on and so forth. And Hike does a phenomenal job of building a very emotional consumer experience that really captures the sort of imagined uh, initial of the user. So the six points are, you know, first impressions are very important. Uh, focus, focus, focus. And less is more. Very important that you go and solve uh, the problem for a user uh, and not just add features. Uh, emotions drive actions, make it playful, and uh, speed over perfection. Now, how do you apply this to yourself in the app you're building? So, you know, what I say is don't just go build an app. There are millions of apps out there uh, that mostly do nothing. Go solve a problem. And, you know, how do you get insights into what kind of emotions drive actions and so on and so forth? It's by working backwards from this problem. And building a product is, is much, much more than just building an app. An app is merely sort of a form of distribution and how you get yourselves across to use. And you know, we really believe in this. Technology in the last decade has been very, very utilitarian, which means that technology, technology has been built for people to mold their lives around. It's been very utilitarian. In a mobile-first world, where mobile devices are much more personal, technology must mold itself around people's lives. That's where the emotion factor, that's where the fun factor is very, very important. And I would, you know, I think it's lunchtime now, so I'd like to leave you with a, a serial metaphor before I leave off. Uh, I found this on Twitter. It's a really cool way to look at a product. Uh, this is a shelf of a bunch of cereals that are stacked up, and this is what we call your data center. Uh, each box in this is your server. And the user experience, the UX, is how it actually works, how you put a spoon in the cereal, how you eat it, and so on and so forth. And um, the UI is how you navigate through the UX. UX is this, how you actually function, how you do the action, the atomic unit. The atomic unit in you know, eating a cereal is a bite of cereal. Uh, the UI is how you do that, is a spoon. And this is your product. Every little bit from the data center to the end, sort of the way it looks and how it works, is your product. The spoon, the bowl, the glass of milk, all the small sort of you know, drops of cereal, all that is your product. And that's it, thank you. <laughs>